uh, maybe from your experience, if you want to share something. Hi. So I am an avid mountaineer and traveler myself and I have done a fair number of treks in the Himalayas. Um, the, my toughest trek was this trek to Dodital Hanuman Chatti, but which I undertook year, a year back. And uh, we went up to about uh, 13,000, 14,000 feet. And I mean, this was the first time where uh, a trek was not just a trek. You know, for me, uh, treks, before this trek, treks had always been like aesthetically pleasing experiences, fun, uh, you know, a way to get out of the city. But this particular trek actually like changed me in some fundamental way because it was, it, because the, the, the conditions and the elements were so hard. You know, I had never experienced such altitudes before. I had never experienced hail, snow, rain before. Not snow, hail. So it was it was an extremely extremely trying experience, um, and uh, I think I, I developed some some amazing uh, skills and capabilities. I mean, which I can't quantify, but uh, I, I, I I whenever in in my everyday life, like uh, the, what what I did learn on that trek, uh, I I feel that. I feel I feel that I'm applying it every day in everything that I do, and uh, I really respect what you're doing uh, because I think uh, you know business houses and companies and uh, corporations need to start thinking out of the box about how to uh, how how to how to provide their employees with a skill set. You know, it's not just about uh, learning Java or learning how to do social media marketing on a computer. It's also about these everyday skills, you know, that you should impart to your employees. Like yesterday, we went for a body language workshop uh, where a theater company had come to like, you know, just talk about teamwork and uh, expressing yourself through your body. And I learned so much more on that workshop than on any of the other events yesterday, you know. So I think these kind of skill sets, these out of the box kind of skill sets like trekking, like theater, are very, very important. And I, I really respect what you're doing. Thank you so much. Your name? I'm Shah. Yeah, uh, really. Hello. So we are involved in a lot of corporate uh, team building or experiential learning programs. Like one of our more, uh, I, I would say most uh, Exciting programs that we do is rafting in Rishikesh. So many companies uh, that we work with, uh, when we propose Rishikesh, a rafting program in Ganga, they are like very reluctant. But when we do the first program, okay, it becomes like, okay, we take care. When, when I'm talking about a rafting program, there are a lot of things that come into it, risk management, safety management, and so many other things. Uh, yeah, then once this confidence comes up, you know, then things go on and they become like like our friends and we make so many friends again sharing and everything happens and we'll talk about it probably uh, I think uh, Toshik will be talking about the uh, other aspect of it uh, the second thing is uh, yeah <clears throat> The fun part of social media and mountaineering is also, you know, to connect with the people itself. I mean, that's also a pain sometimes. We go to mountains for solitude, generally, you know, like I sometimes nowadays start feeling uh, we are going to Ladakh, we are doing a trek, we are going deep into the mountains, like two days, three days, okay, fine. We moved out of the city first day, we are close to the city, we have a connection, okay, there is still signal. I wish, you know, like strongly I hope that, okay, there's no mobile connectivity. The participants, we strongly tell them, you know, that don't take your mobile. We are not going to allow you, uh, you to use mobile because we want you to be in the mountains and experience the mountain and sometimes uh, getting in touch with people outside when we are trekking, you know, can be a hindrance for the team itself or for the participant itself, you know. 
uh, there could be emotional talks with the spouse or at somebody at home they would say oh you are there you're struggling and all these things and all that you know so we don't want that to happen when we are especially for a leader uh, the second thing is uh, now what is happening is on a peak like even Stoke Kangri which is at 20,100 feet uh, you get mobile connectivity and uh, we have people, Akash was one of our summiters who came with us about uh, two years ago and he also spoke I think to his people from the summit. Yeah, it is good to get connected but in some way there are some group of people who say that no, we don't want any connectivity and in uh, certain expeditions like some places they make it mandatory to carry sat phones like uh, Kalindikhal which is in Uttarakhand now, Uttaranchal. So they have made it mandatory the government that any expedition that goes on that route must carry it and stay in touch. Of course I have friends who do Everest expeditions like Australian teams or from uh, certain European teams and they really like to update, send dispatches and social media it's just flooded with dispatches nowadays from what is happening at the mountains, what is doing, who is doing what, what somebody is eating or what happened and all that. It becomes sometimes uh, 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 a big crowd also uh, maybe. But sometimes it, uh, it's interesting to know, like last year there was a major issue in the Everest and it became like a, a viral uh, and it became an issue also because it was shared so fast and by the time, you want to sh somebody wants to share, okay, so by the time, uh, you know, uh, even the issue was taken or it could be, uh, uh, resolved in different ways. Because of social media, what happened was, uh, uh, I would say, I, I hope you all know about it, you know, there, there, was, there were these climbers who came, alpine climbers, and then they came down. On the way back, they had a tiff with the Sherpas on the mountain. You know, I'm talking about that issue, and there were a lot of blogs written on it, tweets, and a lot of updates, and shares on Facebook, and so many things happened as to how the whole culture of mountaineering is getting affected and you know and social media was a big source to spread this uh, issue itself and there were a lot of discussions locally and then Sherpas came to a resolution as to how they would uh, uh, handle certain issues and how things are changing how money is coming into mountaineering and how it is becoming a big uh, part you know of these kind of expeditions Cool. Now I'll ask uh, Renu to take over for a while and then uh, Toshik will take over. Okay, so uh, Toshik, you're ready? Yeah? Thank you. 